And this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. These are the words of Jesus. Hello, and I'm Hermes Falco Jr. with Revive Explosion. I want you to stay ready because today we have an exciting program for you. I'm bringing a message to you straight from Ivaskula, Finland, when I was preaching there in the month of March. And the message is about the true essence of Christianity. Many people today are trying to change the message of the gospel into a psychological method of self-help. When the Bible says that the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. The Bible also says that the gospel is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes. So you do not want to miss this message. We're going to explain the true essence of Christianity, what it means to be a Christian. I'm also bringing some important announcement that you cannot miss what is happening here in Richmond, Virginia in the fall of 2015. You want to stay ready. It's a surprise. Stay watching the program, and you're going to see the whole thing. And at the end, I'm going to be praying for you and for your family that the Lord may touch you today. So let's go for that message right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was really uh, happy to hear uh, Pastor Esco's excitement about Brazil. Olin hyvin iloinen siitä, kun pastori Esko oli kiinnostunut ja innostunut Brasiliasta. Because as a matter of fact, Sillä itse asiassa, the power of the Holy Spirit pyhän hengen voima came to the nation of Brazil tuli Brasilian kansan ylle through two Swedish missionaries. Kahden ruotsalaisen lähetyssaarnaajan kautta. Daniel Berg and Gunnar Wingren. Daniel Berg ja Gunnar Wingberg. Gunnar, I, I think I'm saying it right. Gunnar Wingren. <laughs> Gunnar Wingren. <laughs> yes, that's right. Okay. They went through the Azusa Street Revival. He menivät ensiksi Azusa kadun herätykseen Los Angelesissa. In the beginning of, this, of the 20th century. 1900-luvun alussa. They were baptized with the Holy Ghost. He saivat pyhän hengen kasteen. And they were on fire for God. Ja he aivan tulessa Jumalalle. The Lord spoke to them. Herra puhui heille. Go to Para. Menkää Paraan. Para. And they didn't know what it was. Eivät he tiennyt mikä se Para on. Like Pastor Peter like Para, what is that? Pastori Peter sanoi että mikä se Para näytti siltä että mikä se Para on. But the Lord spoke, go to Para. Mutta Herra sanoi, menkää Paraan. And these two men were like, para, what is para? So, so they went to a library. We're doing some research. They found out that para is a state in the north of Brazil. Mm, the Lord wants to take us to Pará, to, to Brazil. Että siis Herra haluaa meidän siis menevän tuohon paikkaan, Brasiliaan. They had no money. Ei heillä ollut rahaa. They had no support. Eikä mitään kannatusta. Of any big denomination. Mikään kirkkokunta ei ollut heidän takanaan. They were walking by the streets. He kävelivät kaduilla. One man bumped into them. Eräs mies törmäsi heihin. And handed them an envelope. Ja antoi heille kirjekuoren. It was the amount of money necessary to, to take a cargo ship and go to Brazil. Ja se oli juuri sen verran rahaa kuin mitä tarvittiin laivamatkan maksamiseen Brasiliaan. They had nothing in the natural. Heillä ei ollut luonnollisella tasolla mitään. But they had a word from God. Mutta he olivat saaneet sanan Herralta. Go! Menkää! They had one word. Yksi sana vaan. Go. Menkää. Sometimes all that you need is one word. Joskus sinä et tarvitse muuta kuin yhden sanan. One word from God is better than anything in the natural. Yksi sana Jumalalta on parempi kuin mikään mikä tulee luonnollisella tasolla. One word from God can change your destiny. Yksi sana Jumalalta voi muuttaa sinun kohtalosi. With one word. Yksi sana. 
to the natural mind, this is crazy. Luonnolliselle ajattelulle tämä on ihan hullua. But they had one word. Mutta heillä oli se yksi sana. And they went. Ja he lähtivät. And now if the nation of Brazil has experienced such a, an outpouring of the spirit, ja nyt tämä Brasilian kansa on saanut kokea valtavan hengen vuodatuksen. It is because of the obedience of two Swedish men. Se johtui tästä kahden ruotsalaisen lähetyssaarnaajan kuuliaisuudesta. That said, yes Lord. Jotka sanoivat kyllä herra. I'll do whatever you want me to do. Minä teen mitä ikinä sinä haluat minun tekevän. I'll go wherever you want me to go. Minä menen minne ikinä sinä minut lähetät. I'll obey you. Minä tottelen sinua. No matter the cost. Mik, mitä ikinä se maksaa. I'll follow your lead. Minä seuraan sinun johtoasi. And the first people that were baptized with the Holy Spirit in Brazil were through these missionaries. Ja ensimmäiset brasilian uskoa, jotka kastettiin siellä, niin heidät kastoivat nämä ruotsalaiset lähetykset. About 19 people were filled with the Holy Spirit. 19 ihmistä sai pyhän hengen kasteen. The first of the nation of Brazil. Ja se oli ensimmäinen kerta brasilian kansan keskuudessa. The Baptist pastor got really upset. Baptisti pastori loukkaantui kovasti. Kick the missionaries out. Potki lähetyssaarnaajat pihalle. <laughs> That's, that's, that's history. You can research Tämä that on and find historiasta, out. mitä kerron. And they founded the Assemblies of God in Brazil. Ja he perustivat Brasilian helluntai herätyksen. In 1911. 1911. 1911. Yeah. They didn't even speak Portuguese at first. Ja he, they did or didn't. They did. They didn't. 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 They They had no money. Eikä heillä ollut rahaa. But they had a word. Mutta heillä oli se sana. Hallelujah. And it's interesting that I'm a Brazilian guy. On niin mielenkiintoista, minä olen brasilialainen. And I've been coming to Scandinavia. Ja olen tullut Skandinaaviaan. Quite a lot. Aika paljon käynyt Skandinaaviassa. To bring the word. Tuomaan tämän sanan. We're seeing miracles. Uh, ihmeistä. We're seeing uh, signs. Ja me näemme ihmeitä ja merkkejä. People saved. Ihmisiä pelastuu. Baptized the Holy Ghost. Ja saavat pyhän hengen kasteen. You know what God is doing? Tiedättekö mitä Jumala on tekemässä? He's returning. Hän on palauttamassa. The seed. Tätä siementä takaisin. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And then you get to know a little bit more of the history of revival in Brazil. Amen. Näin saitte vähän tietää lisää tästä Brasilian historiasta. Hallelujah. Hi there, this is Hermes Falco Jr. with Revival Explosion Ministries. And I want to invite you to come to Richmond, Virginia from August 10th, 2015 through January 30th, 2016. These will be months where your life will be transformed by the revelation of the Word of God and the impartation of the Holy Spirit. We're going to have the Revival Explosion School of Ministry long term. We've had five different schools, one in America and four in Europe, where students came from so many different nations and they were impacted by the glory of God and by the teaching of God's Word. And this time, we're offering this cool long term. We're going to dive deeper in the Word of God with so many different topics. We have international guest speakers. It will be an amazing time of impartation, activation, that your life will never be the same. So. I want to encourage you to go to our website www.reviveexplosion.com and sign up today. These will be amazing and you'll not regret. Sign up today and I want to see you here in Richmond. I want you to open your Bible in the book of John. Katsotaan Johanneksen evankeliumista. Chapter 17. luku. Verse 2. Ja 2. And 3. Ja 3. 
Halleluja. Sinä olet uskonut hänen valtaansa kaikki ihmiset, jotta hän antaisi iankaikkisen elämän kaikille, jotka olet hänelle antanut. Iankaikkinen elämä on sitä, että he tuntevat sinut ainoan tosi Jumalan ja Jeesuksen Kristuksen, jonka sinä olet lähettänyt. No, she just read in Finnish. Hän luki sen suomeksi. And, and I want to focus on verse three. Ja haluan tähän jakeeseen kolme nyt keskittyä. Where it says... Missä sanotaan, Now this is eternal life. Että iankaikkinen elämä on sitä. That they may know you. Että he tuntevat sinut. The only true God. Ainoan tosi Jumalan. And Jesus Christ whom we have sent. Kristuksen jonka sinä olet lähettänyt. This is. Tämä on. Eternal life. Iankaikkista elämää. That they may know you. Että he tuntevat sinut. This is eternal life. Se on iän kaikista elämää. That they may know you. Että he tuntevat sinut. I'll talk to you today about the true meaning of Christianity. Minä haluan tänä iltana puhua todellisesta kristillisyydestä. Because there are a lot of theories. Koska on paljon teorioita. A lot of methods. Paljon menetelmiä. A lot of philosophy. Paljon filosofia. A lot of psychology. Ja psykologia. And throughout the millennia. Ja vuosi tuhannen. You know the church has been around for more than two thousand years. Ja seurakunta on ollut kaksi vuosi tuhatta täällä. Throughout these two thousand years of existence. Tämän kahden vuosi tuhannen ajan aikana. There has been a lot of changes. On ollut paljon muutoksia. From the beginning of the church. Siitä, mitä seurakunta alussa oli. A lot of what people call Christianity today. Paljon se siitä, mitä ihmiset kutsuvat kristillisyydeksi tänä päivänä. Is not biblical Christianity. Se ei ole raamatullista kristillisyyttä. It is something else, but not Christianity. Se on jotain muuta, mutta ei kristillisyyttä. Sometimes it's a social club. Joskus on sosiaalista toimintaa, kerhotoimintaa. And I'll tell you today that the church is not a social club. Ja se haaste tänä päivänä on, että seurakunta ei ole sosiaalinen kerho. Though we may have fellowship. Vaikka meillä voi olla yhteyttä. One with the other. Toinen toistemme kanssa. But the purpose of the church. Mutta seurakunnan tarkoitus. Is not being a social club. Ei ole olla sosiaalinen kerho. The conception of the church happened on the day of Pentecost. It was actually the very beginning of the church. When the church was born. Through a supernatural manifestation of the coming of the Holy Spirit. The church was not born out of the mind of any man. It came straight from heaven. The Bible says on the day of Pentecost. Ja Raamattu sanoo, että helluntai päivänä. They were all together in one place. He olivat kaikki yhdessä koolla. In one accord. Ja yksi mielisinä. And all of a sudden. Ja aivan yhtäkkiä. There was a mighty rushing wind. Tapahtui väkevä tuulispää. That came. Joka tuli. And filled. Ja se lankesi. The whole house. Ja täytti koko paikan. And all of them. Ja kaikki, jotka siellä olivat. Were filled. He täyttyivät With the Holy Spirit. pyhällä hengellä. And we know this story. Ja me tiedämme tämän kertomuksen. They were so filled with the Holy Spirit. He täyttyivät niin paljon pyhällä hengellä. The people said these men are drunk. Että ihmiset toisti ihmiset sanoivat että nämä on ihan juoppoja, juovuksissa Then nämä. Peter stood up. Koska se näytti silloin Peter said, Pietari, these men are not drunk as you suppose. Ja Pietari nousi pystyyn ja sanoi että eivät nämä mitään juovuksissa ole. Be nine in the morning right now. Koska sehän oli aamulla kello yhdeksän. But this is which the prophet Joel spoke about. Vaan tämä on sitä mistä profeetta Joel kertoi. 
that in the last days, päivinä, God will pour out His Spirit upon all flesh. And we know that Peter preached a sermon on that day. Tiedämme, and 3,000 people came to the Lord and got saved. That's how the church Näin syntyi began. Seurakunta. And throughout the ages, throughout the centuries, if you study church history, you begin to realize that there are a lot of changes. Especially after the 300 years. A lot of that fire began to die down. And then people began to have a new way of thinking for the church. Oh, we don't need all that. Let's, you know, adjust a little bit to the culture. Let's be a little bit more relevant. We don't want to be known as extremes. Or radicals. So we better be like the world. So we can win the world. But that's a lie from the devil. You don't need to be like the world to win the world. Ei sun tarvitse olla maailman kaltainen voittaaksesi maailman. The world is looking for something different. Sillä maailma etsi jotain mikä on erilaista. If you're just like the world, jos saat ihan samanlainen kuin maailma. You have nothing new to offer. Ei sulla ole mitään annettavaa maailmalle. And the devil has sold that lie for the church. And people have begun to believe that Christianity is about coming to a building. Once a week. And hearing a sermon. Don't get me wrong, this is all good. But this is not the true essence of Christianity. It is exactly what Jesus said. This is eternal life. That they may know you, Father. And Jesus Christ. This is the very essence of Christianity. It's knowing God personally. It's knowing God individually. So we can manifest him corporately. That's what Jesus God wants to give a personal experience with him. Jumala haluaa antaa henkilökohtaisen kokemuksen hänestä itsestään. Because a person with a personal experience with God, sillä ihminen tarvitsee tällaisen henkilökohtaisen kokemuksen. Will not change it for someone else's theory. Mutta silloin 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 hän ei lähde menemään minkään toisen teorian perään. Your personal experience is way more powerful than anybody's theory. Because when you have an experience, people can say whatever they want. Nobody can convince you otherwise because you have an experience. For example, who has ever been healed in your body through faith in the Lord? Kuka on joskus parantunut uskon kautta Jeesukseen ruumiissansa? Look at look at his hands. L- lift it up. Näin moni on parantunut, who, kokenut parantunut. Let me ask you again. Who, who got healed at some point in your life through faith in Jesus? Lift your hand. Kuka siis jossakin vaiheessa elämässä parani sen takia, että hän uskoi Jeesukseen? Look, look, look at all these hands. Now let me tell you. Nyt minä sanon teille. If someone comes to you. Jos joku tulee sinun luoksesi ja sanoo. And tells you. Ja sanoo sinulle. Healing is not for today. Että parantumista ei tarvita enää tänä päivänä. 
All these has stopped. Että se on pysähtynyt jo. And ceased. Ja se on lakannut toimimasta. It does not exist. Ei sitä enää tarvita, eikä sitä ole. What would you think? Mitä sinä ajattelet sellaisista would lauseista? Would that change your mind? Muuttaisiko se sinun mielipiteesi sinun kohdallasi? Huh? Ah. Why? No, no. Miksi? Because you had a personal experience. Koska sinulla on ollut henkilökohtainen kokemus parantumisesta omassa ruumissasi. And of course, if you study the word, you're going to also find out in the word that these signs follow them that believe. That by his stripes we are healed. And that he did not set an expiration date for Mark 16. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature että hän sanoi Mark, Markus 16, menkää kaikkeen maailmaan ja saaratkaa evankeliumia kaikille luoduille. Saved, se, joka uskoo, niin se pelastuu, ja se, joka ei usko, niin se joutuu tuomioistuimeen. Ja nämä merkit seuraavat kaikkia niitä, jotka uskovat. They shall drive out demons, speak in new tongues. They will lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Until the first century is over. He didn't say that. Some people wish that he said that, but he didn't say it. But the whole point is this. When you have a personal experience, nobody can convince you otherwise because you have tasted it. That's why the Bible says, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Oh, taste. 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 You taste. I cannot taste for you. I can taste it for myself and tell you how good it is. Voin maistaa itseni kohdalla, mutta en toisten. But I cannot taste it for you. En sinun kohdallasi. You taste it. Sinun on You experience it. Sinun on koettava se. And you have a personal experience of the Lord. Ja kun sinulla on henkilökohtainen kokemus Jumalasta. You know him. Sinä tunnet hänet. Personally, individually, ja oma, omana itsenäsi, this is niin se on eternal life. Ihan kaikkista elämää. Hi there, this is Hermes Falco Jr. with Revive Explosion Ministries. And I want to invite you to come to Richmond, Virginia from August 10th 2015 through January 30th, 2016. These will be months where your life will be transformed by the revelation of the Word of God and the impartation of the Holy Spirit. We're going to have the Revival Explosion School of Ministry long term. We've had five different schools, one in America and four in Europe, where students came from so many different nations and they were impacted by the glory of God and by the teaching of God's Word. And this time, we're offering the school long term. We're going to dive deeper in the Word of God with so many different topics. We have international guest speakers. It will be an amazing time of impartation, activation, that your life will never be the same. So I want to encourage you to go to our website, www.reviveexplosion.com and sign up today. This will be amazing and you'll not regret. Sign up today and I want to see you here in Richmond. Hallelujah. We're back. I want you to really consider if you feel in your heart the Lord calling you, do not hesitate. Sign up today for that school because I believe it's going to truly affect your destiny. It's going to be powerful. You're going to be back home on fire more than you are right now. I want to pray with you 
if you're watching this program, you know the message was about the true essence of Christianity. And maybe you know church. You've been to church, but you don't know Jesus personally. There's a big difference with that. You know religion, you've known church, but you don't know Jesus. And I want to lead you into a prayer right now for you to invite him to come into your heart and to have a personal relationship with him. It's going to change your life forever. So would you pray with me right now? If you say, Hermes, I don't know Jesus personally. I want to know him. I want to be saved. I don't know for sure my sins are forgiven. Just pray with me this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. Thank you for dying on the cross for me. Thank you for resurrecting for me. Today I receive you as my personal Lord and Savior. Come in, Jesus. Change my life. Give me eternal life in Jesus' name. I just want to pray for the sick right now. Lord, touch everyone who is sick and afflicted, who needs deliverance. I just pray for someone right now. You've been watching this program and there's a lot of questions on your mind about even the existence of God. I want to tell you right now, in Jesus' name, God is real and He's reaching to you right now with His hand. And I rebuke every spirit of confusion over your mind in the name of Jesus. I speak clarity over your thoughts in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, I pray for the revealing of Jesus to that person right now. Just reveal yourself to that person with your love and power. Let them feel it even right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Lord, touch those who are addicted. Set them free in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Just stay in touch with us. Go to our website, www.revivalexplosion.com. If you want to partner with us, we'd love to have new partners who want to help us to advance the gospel around the world. God bless you and your family.